Hey guys, Matt Fisher with the Brandon video for you. So I want to talk about something called Epicat, I'm just called Epicat, a substance that uh, for a while was all the rage in the fitness industry. The hype behind this was real, starting about 10 years ago, but really about seven or eight is when it really started uh, you know, to catch fire. And what this does is it decreases something called myostatin. And what that does, it basically tells your body don't get too big, no, 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 stay, in, stay the right size. So by decreasing that, they say you're unlocking uh, your genetic potential and you could get to, you know, really, real massive, like, by, by just doing what you're doing. You know, you still have to work out and stuff, but it, what would have stopped you before is now no longer in the way. So this supplement had lots of hype. And when it started to appear in supplements and more studies were done, they found even more good stuff about it in that uh, it, there was a reduction in body fat, a tiny little bit. Now, they, it was never marketed as, as a fat burner, but basically by increasing muscle mass and, and decreasing a little fat, they would say it gave you improved body composition. Uh, it, were, it had anti-cancer properties. Anti-diabetes properties were basically it improved insulin sensitivity. So this thing had massive hype. So then these supplements started coming out, and they were pretty pricey, about $50, $55 for about 200 milligrams. So people started buying this up. I mean, I remember I tried to buy one time, they were sold out. And one of the good things about the supplement industry or, is that people talk, and they will let you know what kind of results they had. So people started taking this stuff, and the results were kind of mixed. They didn't hate it. They had definitely some good stuff, but they didn't really feel it met the hype, especially for $50, $55 for a month's supply. So the supplement industry, the, the companies rather, they started getting creative. And then a lot of them started to put it in a blend, where it's like, okay, you get 100 milligrams of Epicat, but you get a bunch of other good stuff too. And then a product called Thologen came out by Black Lion Research, and people swear by this. It's marketed as an Epicat product, but it's got a lot of good stuff in there. And some people, they love this product so much that they take it every month. Like it's part of my staple, I love this. So that product caught fire. And they market it as a lean muscle builder. So they're saying, it's not gonna produce eight pounds of muscle in a month, but it is gonna help build lean muscle while reducing body fat and doing a host of other good things. Then another company came out, CEL. And they, uh, what they did is, they basically tripled the dosage, 600 milligrams a month, while dropping the price. So instead of $50 a month for 200 milligrams, for about $35 a month from DPS Nutrition, you get 600 milligrams. And just a couple weeks ago, uh, on one of the forums I go to, a, a heated discussion broke out by people who liked Folodrin and people who liked the, the CEL, which is just pure Epicat. And there was a lot of back and forth. But the main thing was, people liked the products. Which one was better, it got very heated. But people liked them both. Then another company came out and said, you know what, we're gonna give you just the Epicat, but not in pill form, in transdermal form, you basically let it absorb into your body. Now, I've never tried that, but the, the user reviews are very good. And now another product just came out literally a week ago, Myosynergy with uh, a guy who ever used supplements, I think the guy's a genius. I love his products. I love the research behind him. One of the good guys in the field, I think literally is trying to help people. He put uh, Epicat in, in his product, and I believe he tinkered with the delivery system to make it more you know, bioavailable, let the body absorb more, more of it. So you might see this product in the future with even better delivery systems. So. What's the final verdict on this? Well, it's not the massive holy grail of bodybuilding that people hoped it would be. It's not going to produce seven eight pounds of muscle in a month. However, it does do a lot of good things, and people love this product. It's very natural. And in fact, you find it in dark chocolate. Have you ever heard that of dark chocolate being good for you? This is one of the reasons why. However, to get enough of it from dark chocolate you would have to eat massive amounts, at which point it becomes very not good for you. So again, this is a natural product. It is not liver toxic or anything like that, like some of these other products are, but this is good for you. How good is it for you? 
again, that's debatable. Is it worth your money? I would say maybe, you know, it, it can get you a little stronger, a little less body fat. It actually can increase endurance. If you like doing cardio, you know, it can make you run faster and longer. So it does good things. And then we, we think the product to have it in a blend gives you other good stuff. The options are out there. So whether you want to or not, it's completely up to you. You do not need this, but it's something you may want to be interested in. You may want to check out. Okay. Thanks guys. Have a good day.